Okay, so this is a shorty, a short demonstration here. Actually, it's an introduction. I'm um, just nearly, I think I'm nearly finished with this one here. Let me be close up here. I think, can you see it? Yeah, you can see it okay. All right, so these are the two here. Actually, it's a piece of canvas just tacked on a, you know, on the back of a piece of cardboard. So what I'll do is I'll order some scratches and scratch the canvas on, you know, pretty soon, later, okay? Get that back here. <clears throat> and this, I hope to be my next journey, cruise, whenever. <laughs> Whenever I sell enough painting, if I sell it enough, eh, that's not much. Okay. Put this back here. Now, yeah, well, I'll drop it. Oh. Okay, so this is a large one. In fact, this is the largest, or this will be the largest one that I have uh, worked on so far. It's a 36 by 48 inch. It's sort of a, uh, <clears throat> like a surrealistic, you know, background, you know, as you see. The landscape greenery here. The sunrise. Uh, the brother standing. This is the chief here. And, uh, these two brothers here is playing two elders, and then you got your bodyguards in the background. Well, <laughs> they're not really bodyguards, they're just, uh, you know, three of his friends. This is called the Initiation Day. And after the uh, initiation, you know, we, had, we stopped and posed for some photographs and so it just so happened. Now we're in the bush really and this is like 1966. Yeah, 1966. That's me. See how the skin I got it. I'm still working on myself, okay. That's Joe Vroom. Yeah. Charles Simpson. He had deceased John Ray. Monaco Kudia. That's the Paramount Chief there. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> he was the one that invited us to his village and, uh, you know, to open up a feeder road so we'd be able to transfer uh, food to the market in a crowd. Uh, this is my a photograph that I, of that occasion. Now this is way before the digital days. Even telephone, well, a few people had telephone. But the detail, you can find that in my Sankofa. That's my book about my, you know, life in Ghana. <coughs> uh, between the years uh, 1965 to 1976. Uh -huh. So I put this here. And what else I want to show you? Okay, I guess that's about as much as I should. That's about it, you know. Okay, so, oh, you can find this, you can read the complete story in my Sankofa. That's my book, you know, I wrote several years afterward. Someone said, oh, you should write a book. At the time, you know, history makers really we're not aware that we are making history while we are making it. You know, you just do it. Like someone would say, hmm, what's on the other side of those hills? So I say, well, let's go. So <laughs> that's the way the whole thing started with me and with most of us, the expatriates that lived in Africa back in those days, because it wasn't as developed as it is now. So that's one thing you really should keep in, bear in mind. So I'm proud to say that we were the uh, pathfinders. 
you know. Yeah, we were the pathfinders. We opened up the way for the generation that's there now. So you guys, uh, <laughs> yeah, you said check us out. It was it was interesting. Okay. Thanks for looking. If you look and leave a comment. Hi, right. this is unrehearsed, so you know. All right, bye-bye. Let me get to work now.